What up? What's poppin'? Thank you for tuning in, my loyal supporters that's in the building. Welcome to On The Lockout. Today, we're going to get to the topic. Prison, the penitentiary, or Rikers Island. Right? Dudes involved, involved in gangs dealing with a situation of bang, bang, the hobble squabble. R.I.P. to the big bloody Sandman, bad company in the building, Southside, Jamaica, Queens. Facts, everybody knows, respectfully, I ran around Jamaica, Queens, Bob, still do, uh, Brooklyn, lived in Harlem, born and raised in Brooklyn, my birth certificate say place of birth, Kings County, facts. Now, boom, I also lived in the Bronx, I lived in every borough, bro. What? So here's the thing. Bop, no glorification, just telling the story in hopes that you don't end up like us. Hopefully we get to save a life from our stories. Facts. We did that already a few times. That's a fact. But check this out. Bop, dudes dealing with the dog food in the state penitentiary. I did. There was nobody around me, respectfully, I ain't even showing off. This is a fact. Anybody that's been on my platforms will tell you. Anybody that was in prison with me will tell you, boy, ain't even capping. Boy was getting it. And in order for you to be able to get the bid that, pop, and boof that on the floor. You ever been on the floor, pop, and you got to go, boop. Oh, see, he's coming, right? The CO, pop, thumping with COs and all that over that. You heard one time I had to swallow it and HDM, boom. Like, kiss her, she passed it to me. You know, in the H, the door opens, pop, and the visitors come in. They put me right there, pop, and the bubble's here. The police grab me by my neck. I said that story, I think, way back. If you look at the videos in the bottom, when I first set off Rikers Island stories as a podcast. Facts before anybody else was talking about Rikers Island as a podcast. Understand what I'm saying? So, boom. Respectfully. We dump and I had to make believe that I was trying to boof it. Bing through the jumper. They like, he's trying to push it in. He's trying to push it in. Then I swallowed it, but I almost couldn't. I was, when I called, I was like, yo, what the? Mm, that's, it was hard to swallow. You heard? Like, damn. That sounds crazy, but we don't be like, pause, pause, none of that. We too, you heard, pop? But anyway, check this out. We don't play the pause game over here. You heard it's Brooklyn, but check this out. Boom. Uh, uh, uh. Real talk, I ain't even lying to you, bro. I swear to God. In the state penitentiary, whether you was in a medium or wherever you was at, some people think because they was in a max, they tougher than dudes that was in a medium. Here's the thing, bro. Let's keep it a stack. Mediums pop hard body. I seen dudes come from a max and be like, yo, I'm trying to get out of here. Dudes is loose here. The same way these dudes are loose talking from upstate to dudes in New York because they don't live in New York and everybody they got beef with through the internet, on the internet, <laughs> right? Because there's internet to them. Nobody lives around them. If you analyze, everybody lives in New York. That's weird, my dude, right? So you can make up little stories, <laughs> lie, right? Whatever, manipulate the audience, play with the videos, make them see like something else. Like, ha, <laughs> very funny, get your nut off, because in real life, I blow your motherfucking head off, <laughs> right? Pop, everybody knows that there's somebody. But check it out, let's get pop back to this. When I used to always get it, pop, and I know that some dudes was looking like something he tough, huh? I always had that problem. That's just me. On the internet, I be nice. Because I mastered it, learned it, pop, and said, holy snap, I could teach my people this a way out. Right? That's a beautiful thing. I got blood dudes, king dudes, crib dudes, patria dudes in the street. All that. I could show them a better way. So I said, let me do that, pop, instead of always being a terror because I destroyed our communities in the street and in the prison system. Let me try to do something good for once, Warpath. And I'm doing that, did that, and I'm super proud of myself. If nobody is, if none of you guys are, I pat myself in the back. You heard the difference is some dudes on the internet don't like us because we don't, we don't buy hot seatbelt. You heard we don't pull zippers down, homie. I'm not pop, pop all over you. Nah, we not doing that. You heard? I don't even call dudes unless you call me. Facts. We, I don't got, I don't want to talk. <laughs> you heard? There's nothing to talk about. You heard? 
But if you business savvy, I'll get up with you anytime. And if you are real right, everybody knows that. You heard? But if you calling me to act tough, and we are tough out here, bro. You heard it's New York City in real life. But check it. The reality is that in the state penitentiary, if you was getting the bag, and even if you sniffing dog food, pop, nobody saying nothing to you. It's rare. It's rare, bro. And the dudes that's putting in the most work. Facts. Let's get to it. And shout out to my dude that said, bite up. Let's get to That was probably this pepe too. Let's get to it. I've been saying that for years. I've been on the internet since the MySpace days with Fox. Facts. Southside Jamaica. Dumbhouse. Facts. So wrong dude. And I've been talking the same talk for over 14 years on the internet. Don't you think somebody would have came out already and said, son is lying. They can't. Only two bozos that live in another state that don't know us in real life. That's weird, my dude. You get it? Everybody that got beef with you or think they got internet beef, they live in another state, my dude. I don't pay mind to things like that. When you know, you, nobody's calling me like, yo, I'm right here. Bro, that's not happening, bro. Facts. The whole world knows that, right? So let's move on because I'm going to stop talking about that because they're not important. I'm giving them too much light. So boom, anyway, the dudes that was putting in the most work, I seen some bloods, homie, that was on the bag. That'll buy you, son. Facts off impulse. Boop. Like, what up? You playing him? Hold that. Oh, snap. <laughs> Facts. And I was always getting it. Like, my shorties was coming through with 10 grams, 20 grams regularly. You get it? And dog food is power in the jail. But I wasn't the type of dude that I'm sharing it with mad gorillas and all that. Nah, because I think and thought who I was. You heard? So I'm like, nah, nigga, I ain't got to give you nothing. You bugging, you pay like everybody else. In fact, we was going around robbing niggas on the island and up north. Like, my favorite word was, yo, tell him to send it. <laughs> Dude, like, yo, war, he got it. You know war, my man be like, you know what war is going to say, send it. <laughs> you get it? You better be able to hold that down. Because we're coming. So when a dude said one time, yo, y'all dudes was chasing the bag on the island. And we was about to get at y'all. Like, he sounded stupid. Why didn't you, bro? <laughs> right. You knew better. Stop it, bro. These dudes ain't doing so. All that talk that dudes be having on the internet, like, yo, dudes was dope fiends, all that. Bro, you leaving out the truth. Ain't really no regular sober dudes. They put in work. And this is when no glorification. Just this is a fact. You ain't saying nothing to the KINGs that's up north that dip and dab with the bag. You're not saying nothing to the bloods that dip and dab with the bag. It's the same thing that dudes is doing with perks. Nobody's, you're not saying nothing to these little blood dudes in the street that deal with the perks that I know. <laughs> what? They'll wow you, boy. Because those are the animals, bro. Respectfully, you wake up in the morning, you need that. You go into the yard like, what up? Yo, who got it? Him? He's out of here. Pop, hold that. This is just a fact. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. So I never put nobody down because I had my moments in life where I'm doing mad good and I'm super clean. Then I had my moments where I'm dipping and dabbing or I'm getting head eye, whether it's on perks, dog food, whatever, right? But by the grace of God, it's been a minute since I haven't. And I'm super proud of that because a lot of my dudes is even like, damn, how you did that, what? Because we grew up around that. like, And we was always getting money. It's a different type of... Again, I'm not glorifying. I'm just telling you a story. It's a different type of get high from a dude that lets himself be out there like a bum in the street, like down, gun, and you that's coming like T.I. Respectfully, they deal with dog food. They've been in programs, all that. Uh, Kodak Black, uh, Future. All these dudes do opiates. Only your favorite rappers that's up there. Bing! You diss them? No, you can't. You kiss their toes. Some of y'all. I wouldn't. Right? But I understand that it's a different type of animal that's going through a problem. You feel me? Like, you, when I was dipping and dabbing, you're not just coming up to me like, yo, what up, you punk, without something happening. You feel me? So the flow is different. It's a different type of dude. Everybody's not the same. Like, yo, he's a doping. A doping is not even a person that really gets high. It's the act. 
Some people don't need to be getting high to me to be moving like a dope fiend. Some of these dudes move like dope fiends on the net. Homie, and they don't get high on dog food. You get it? But when it comes to like the facts, the fact is that they was putting in a lot of work. The majority of the work came from the dudes that was actually getting the bag or getting high. You get it? So that's why I never put people down because I was him. Like dudes could say what they want, but dudes will be like, yo, war put it through you. Yo, don't say that. War's coming. I can hear it, bro. You get it? I'm in the hallways. Boom, boom, what up? Yo, war's coming. I'm like, I act like I didn't hear it. You get it? But I heard you, son. I'm good with that. You got to hold that down. You get it? But I always got to it. Even on a day that it wasn't my visit, I was getting it through court clothes. Like, you doing anything because we hustling in the jail. I'm making money. Pop, pop, pop. I made my own bail money before from, while in the island. This is facts. I had my girl bailing out other dudes. Like, yo, what's your bail? I'm going to get you up out of here, son. This is facts. With money I generated in jail, bro. So it's a lot of shmoney. A lot of shmoney. You get it? So we wasn't running around like super tecateado. Like, yo, these dudes like in the hallway. Like, yo, please. You know, we out. Rikers Island is like a fashion show. Like, pop. You was able to rock your own clothes, your jewelry, all that. Like, yo, who knows people? People from Coney Island. I keep thinking about him. Shout out to people, bro. A lot of people don't talk about people. The, he was doing Barber too. Pretty boy. He had his hair like me with the fade. And I say pretty boy because, you know, it doesn't make you less than a man to know. Like, boy, you know, we, we was chilling with the fly gang. You heard fly boys. Like, pop. Everybody was on the island like a fashion show. Even disco. I be telling dudes, keep playing with disco if you want to. I was there when disco was disco. Sandman. Uh, my man Sandman did die. Uh, a lot of dudes, you heard? And, 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 and nobody was playing with disco, bro. Like, y'all niggas be playing on the internet. You do what you want. That's none of my business. But what I did say was, don't ever let disco catch you in his situation on the island. He could be 80 years old. You out of there on the next thing smoking. Boom! That's a fact. It's a whole different world, homie. A whole different world. You heard? And that's a fact. That's why I used to be happy, like, Yo, let me see this dude come in here from my hood or whatever or do that. Because now you can't run nowhere, nothing. You get it? But anyway, back to people getting high on the island or up north. Does that mean that he was soft or whatever? Nah, everybody was respecting it. You crazy. These dudes be lying. This is their opportunity to say, yo, that nigga's a dope fiend, the big blood. Or that the king nigga was a dope fiend. You wasn't doing nothing, bro. Because son will put you in the hospital. Facts. You wasn't saying nothing to me. Because I'll send you to the infirmary like, Bob, there you go. <laughs> Another one. See you. <laughs> Help. Facts. Ask anybody to know. It was me, Dizzy, all of us in one beat. Ever since, even since the days, remember I said Sunshine was with me. The blood Sunshine. I was like, he's not lying from Staten Island. I was there when he was young. He was about like 20 years old in 1A. He was always rapping. It was me, him, King Corbetta, a bunch of dudes. Uh, Teardrop, my dude Ty from Lexington by Norston over there where I be at. Uh, uh, by Gates, Clifton and all that. Shout out to Ty. Facts. Uh, 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 a lot of dudes. And Sunshine, I always said it. When the minute I got in that house, I said, oh, he blood. Because he had the red rope with the chicken bone, and it looked like a dog bone. And that shit never left my head. From young, I was mad young at that time, you heard? Word. Uh, 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 that's, how, that's when I was with Dizzy. Dizzy was CMC. I had the last cell with the TV pop. In order to have that cell with the TV, you better be somebody. Facts. Or you out of there. And dudes that was with me will tell you, like, boy, ain't even stunting. Boy, had that cell with that TV. You heard? That's a fact. So we never cap. I told my stories down because they might be a little too wild for the internet. Or, you know, these dudes that never been nowhere or want to uh, uh, play with it and they think everything is the internet. Oh, this nigga's capping her. Or make videos on you. Like, yo, we don't make videos like that. Like, troll videos and all that. That's ugly. Don't ever do that. You heard? That's bad. That You don't get nowhere with that. The truth puts a tag on you. Like, do not let him grow. I promise you. 
And I've always said this, so nobody needs to tell nobody. You can call it what you want, ratting, whatever, right? If you take my videos and you doing them to defame my character, like make me look crazy and all that, you playing, I'm putting for that video to get took down. Dude's done it to me a hundred times. I got strikes and all that. So they, everybody could do it to us. But we can't do it to nobody because you want to hold on to the code and the principles that that's ratting. Nah, nigga. This is my business. The block. Like the spot. Don't play with my block. Don't play with my business. Don't play with my money. It's the same thing, homie. You get it? And especially if I, if you feel I can't catch you because you're in another state playing with me. So nobody needs to tell you. You use my content to play with me and make it look crazy like something that is not. I'm shooting that. Facts. So I don't care if you think they're shut down or whatever. Here's the thing. You people could report us all they want. They shut your channel down when it's forced reporting and you're abusing that button. You better be correct. Because then they start watching you. Some people in the town call the cops. When the cops come, the cop is like, you got ID. Niggas like, yo, I'm the one that call the cops. Y'all know, but you got ID. <laughs> Now you're going to jail. They start looking at you. It's the same thing. They start looking at you after two. Like, why you keep messing with this dude? Hold up. Let's see something. And then they'll really see that you're the problem. So you, we got to be smart about things, guys. Like, you can't just be making fake videos on a dude and trolling to get views, bro. And it destroys your whole career as a rap. You might as well just keep doing that. You get it? Uh, unless you clean up your act. But if you're going to be lying on people, nobody's having that, especially me as a grown man, homie, because everybody that knows me in real time knows war ain't playing with you when he catch you, bro. That's just a fact. Then nobody could change that. You could play with whatever you want to play. Whoever really knows, knows. When boys see you in real time, it's a different story, homie. Everybody know that. Facts. I, these dudes are corny. Dude said I live with my grandmother. My dude, I've been on my own since I'm 14. Anytime they got a problem with somebody, they did it to, uh, 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 let's get to that. They did it to Zip with the Drip. Yo, that's his grandmother's house. The cat, the dip. Bro, we grown men, bro. Dudes are weirdos, bro. But everybody that does that, they live in another state. They don't live in New York City with us. Or they say they from New York, but they never been to New York. You never seen them in New York, bro. Stop, my dude. You heard? It's cool. Be you. You heard? All of y'all. I'm not talking to nobody in general. It's everybody that does that. It's ugly. It's, it's like, yo, come on. You serious, my dude? You trying to call yourself a real right and that's what you're doing? You get it? Like, somebody making a video about me or making the video look worse. Me on perks, dog food, whatever. I posted those videos. They're on my channel. That's how they got them. And they made the video look like something that it's not. And now a dude that looks at it is like, holy snap, I didn't know that. Bro, you're an idiot. I'm on 161st Street every day on both 161s. You can find me on the South Side Jamaica one and on the one in the Bronx. There's nobody in life that would ever come straight to me and be like, yo, it's me, whatever. It and me just be like, yo, you got it, son, yeah. <laughs> that don't happen, bro. That's not me. Everybody knows that. Facts. But I'm not going to test my gangster tour. But I will let my gangster pop out anytime somebody reach out. You heard? Facts. Now check this out. Pop. Back to the people that get high in the prison. Dudes wasn't dissing them like that. That's only some internet shit. You crazy dogs? I know some of the realest bloods that was with me. I know they get high because they were doing it with me, nigga. And again, I'm not glorifying it or saying that it's cool. You get it? But we got time to do, bro. Some of these people were never even getting high a day in their life, B. They started getting hit high when they got locked up. A nigga got 100 years. A nigga got 5 years. A nigga got 12 years. He not worried about what you got to say. You going home. He still got a little time to do. He trying to taste freedom. And his own, the only way the people to cope with certain situations, some people turn to drugs, as sad as it may be, right? Now, it's a bad thing when you're not getting it and you catch a habit. And this is why you need to stay away from this. Any youngins that's out there, older dudes that popping perks and all that, I wish somebody would have told me this when I first started dealing with that shit. Because it don't come with a manual. When you don't have it, you're gonna, if you're thorough like that, like we was already outside, like gangster, you're wildin'. 
You're gonna rob, stick everybody up. You might catch a few bodies, cause anything goes, homie. I had some of the best friends, good dudes, homie. I catch myself, you know why? Setting him up, pop, 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 putting a gun in his mouth, pop, shut up. Like I grew up with this nigga, B, I'm yapping his chain, pop, shut up, nigga. I grew up with him, bro. Like he grew up on my block, bro. Like what the fuck I'm doing taking son's chain, bro? That shit is crazy, bro. And and even right now, when I'm telling the story, my dude, to be realistic, it gets me mad, bro. I don't know if it's mad, it gets me sad at myself, B. Like, damn, my nigga. That shit is crazy, son. Like, I yapped, son. I smacked, son. Or whatever I did to him, you heard? I ripped him. I shot this nigga. Like, yo, I took his shit. That nigga grew up on my block since we was kids, nigga. Whether I spoke to him or not, he's from the block, nigga. Whatever, bro. Stay away from drugs, homie. Facts.